Milwaukee, on the other hand, is a jump shooting basketball team, and they're going to try to get their big three rolling. Glenn Robinson hits his first career playoff high of 29 in game six. In terms of when they get that quick exchange, the shot to get to the rim, or do they decide to pull up for the jumper? Ray Allen. Allen slicing through and scoring. Double up. The cell was doubled briefly. Allen dribbling through. Five on the shot clock. Robinson the fake and the jumper. Ray Allen in traffic. Baron Davis coming across. As he got a piece of the ball, he also got the arm. And the quick catch and shoot by Ray Allen off the inbound. Uh, there's no question, uh, but these guys have uh, vital roles because the big three are going to see so much defensive pressure. Ray Allen to the left hand, swatted away by McGlure. He recovers it and sticks it back in. Ray Allen. With Lindsey Hunter to Thomas. Robinson pumps up a three. Seven for Robinson and a three-point game. Somebody better tell the Hornets that the big dog is back and he's barking and uh, he's going to hurt you before this game is over. Hunter can't hit the three. Now he has it back. Thought about it. Instead gives it up to Ray Allen who drills it. Milwaukee with its first lead. There are a lot of ways that Ray Allen can get to the basket, demonstrating right here his ability to change course and change direction. Swoops in. Five straight points for Ray Allen in the lead. He is such a graceful, almost elegant player. And Baron Davis again moving away from the hoop, body going the opposite direction, knocks it down. Charlotte by two, Robinson to tie it just inside the three-point line. From the official standpoint, was there a guy in there that they thought hit it? Well, it was Charlotte B. J. Brown all the Charlotte way. Charlotte definitely got a break there. Yeah, all the way. Robinson with the left hand for Milwaukee. Here's a concern for the Bucks. First 15 minutes of this game, Ray Allen shot six for nine, scored 13 points. Last 12 minutes that he's been on the floor, 0 for 12, zip, 0 for two round, 0 for two from the floor, zip. He hasn't gotten enough opportunities. I mean, I think sometimes they forget about Ray Allen. Look at him. Gosh, what a bounce. You couldn't do that standing in a playground all day long. From sunup to sundown, get a carom like that. Watch this. A quick release from Ray Allen. And again, when you talk about good fortune, you got to have it to escape in a situation like this. A great bounce. Maybe that gets Ray Allen back into the ball game. It certainly got all of the fans here at the Bradley Center up and roaring. Ashburn's got Cassell on a switch. Allen comes off the screen and drills it. You know, come in and spinning, working back and forth. They double team and you can't see anybody on the court. Robinson left alone. They've outscored the Hornets 19-3 in the last seven minutes. Five-second differential between game and clock. Mashburn and the Hornets need to score. Davis. Baron Davis with a big three to answer the one by Hunter at the other end. Six seconds for the Bucks to get off a shot. Robinson to the front court. Running three-pointer. Good! Regulation remaining. 
Milwaukee 73, Charlotte 64. Back after these messages and a word from your local station. You're watching the NBA playoffs on NBC. Well, the tendency, Bob, when you get down and you get down the way they did, Hunter's three and then the dramatic three by Glenn Robinson, you want to get all of those points back in a hurry. Ray Allen. A gorgeous hoop by Allen. Allen still draws the assignment of Wesley out of control that time. Bad shot, and Allen comes out of the pack for Milwaukee. Takes it all away. Now that's the first rule of defense. Stop the ball. Ray Allen went as far as they would let him, and they let him get all the way to the rim. And you know Paul Silas is not happy. See, there's nobody coming to him. Well, if you're going to do that, I may as well score. Nobody comes to the basketball with Ray Allen in control. Robinson, the turnaround. 22 for Robinson. Robinson. They're up by 10. That's making the difference between winning and losing this afternoon. Time running out now on the Charlotte Hornets. Two minutes and 51 seconds left in game seven. That a jump shooting team cannot go deep into the playoffs, but when they come out the bottom of the net, the results are a very good chance of advancing, and the big dog has really been fortunate for Charlotte Hornets this afternoon. In this fourth quarter, all 18 Milwaukee points have come from their big three. Allen has eight, Robinson six, Cassell four. We can't make any ground up if we keep letting them shoot free throws, which is now at 17 straight. Robinson. Here it is. And that may do it. The three by Robinson gives him 27. And with 2.25 on the clock, they're up by 12. What are you doing? And Ray, for you, after seven years, finally your first season time for the championship coming up. How does it feel to be moving on? Well, I think I worked hard, uh, very hard up to this point. I think, you know, being able to be in a franchise where they worked so hard to win, you know, I'm glad to be a part of this franchise in the city because over the, the, the last five years it's been tough, but we stuck with it and now we're winning and I'm happy to do that. I guess you'll run back to the locker room now and turn the television on, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks, uh, Lou. All right. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Okay, Bob. Lewis, thanks. Glenn Robinson with 29, matching his game six total. Ray Allen right behind with 28. Cassell 17 plus 13 assists. Baron Davis led the Hornets in defeat with 29.